Hi, I'm Chris Hilton. I'm the product manager for SRAM Mountain Bike Drivetrain. I'm based here in Schweinfurt, Germany at our Drivetrain Development Center. Uh, the latest project I've been working on is our XX1 Drivetrain. Uh, it's something that we're really excited to be working on because it hits really close to home with, with all of the guys here in Schweinfurt and everybody that works on our development teams. Uh, about four years ago, almost every single one of us was riding a 3x9 mountain bike drivetrain. That was really the standard, and everybody rode that. But in 2009, SRAM came out with our XX 2x10, which really changed the way people think about mountain bike drivetrains. It's a lot more efficient, a lot faster, um, and a lot cleaner if you just stay in that big chain ring and, and pedal in all your cogs. Um, so with XX1, uh, part of the thing that we really wanted to bring to it was make a better one by drivetrain. So with our 1042 11 speed cassette, we've actually essentially added a higher high gear and a lower low gear to what a 10 speed drivetrain has today. Basically all the engineers who are involved in, in this project are also mountain bike riders and since the middle of December or so we are out here riding on these trails, testing the product and it's awesome to ride this thing. Uh, being capable to ride all the trails with this just one shifter, it's a really new experience. You need to try out yourself to be convinced but I'm convinced that even under heavy riding uh, this would keep the chain on the bike. So riders wanted to have a, like a wide range, but they saw the advantage of two by versus three by. So we went one step further going to a single chain ring and that's where we ended up with a one by 11. It's not for the sake of having 11 speeds, but it's just to offer that wide range. And the perfect match was the horizontal parallelogram. The derailleur cannot move anymore when it gets an impact or a bump. It's much better for off-road application than any other rear derailleur. The biggest challenge of a one-by system is that we have a cassette with a very wide spreading, so we have to put all the capacity from the system in one cassette. We have to make sure that the derailleur will go up and down the cassette, keeping the same spacing from the upper pulley. So the parallelogram only moves in a horizontal plane, which is parallel to the hub axis. What is the advantage of, of moving horizontal? And the first is, first you only move the amount of travel you need from, from sprocket to sprocket, from the smallest to the biggest. The other one is that the mechanism is basically perpendicular to all the impacts that the rear wheel might get. So impact implied movements of the mechanism are very little, so you don't feel them when riding. A lot of people ask why we have a 1042 cassette. It's a long story. We started with 936. In the end, we got to what I say is a, is a perfect ratio. In regard of uh, smooth steps over the whole 420% range and also in shifting quality. Because you have to consider not only the steps, you have to consider symmetry of cog steps to have a perfect shifting quality. For the XX1, we use the uh, X-Dome technology, so with this we achieve a really light cassette and actually do not significantly add weight, even though we have this huge ratio. One of the fundamental parts of a one-by drivetrain is clearly the front chain ring. We've taken the opportunity with XX1 to actually create a ring specifically designed to do a lot of things that chain rings have never done in the past. So we're actually able to build a profile into the ring that helps the chain run quieter, more smoothly, uh, gives better durability to the drivetrain, but most importantly, actually helps manage the chain and hold the chain onto the ring. So in a sense, we've built a guide system into the chain ring itself. Combining the X-Sync teeth with our Type 2 rear derailleur clutch technology makes a really, really stable drivetrain that really resists chain derailment in heavy terrain, even when you're running a bike with absolutely no chain guide at all, like on the bike we have here. We, we start with uh, getting stalwarts together, so get, getting kind of a, a form direction for the uh, grupo. Um, then we uh, sketch up first, uh, first directions and um, we are um, going parallel in three-dimensional models here like, like you see on the screen. That's well, it's the final situation, but um, that's, that's the main goal. Yeah, in the last couple of years, the carbon frames uh, changed a, a lot the, the direction. Uh, we have more floating lines and um, uh, this is now expressed in our components and uh, these components are 
fitting much better to the new direction of MTB here. Um, the first part for us was um, to um, equip a bike, get out on the trails and do a lot of test rides to gather um, the data that we need later on, the loads in the drivetrain, um, which gears are being used and which conditions, forces that uh, occur in the drivetrain. We've not only focused on pro athletes, on World Cup level riders, but also on other um, enthusiastic riders. At the end, when um, the Pardex are out on the trails and the bikes, we, can, we ensure that we have a robust and well-performing product. XX1 was built to be at home and excel in everything from elite cross-country racing, enduro racing, to high-performance trail riding. XX1 is built specifically for people that are serious about their bikes, serious about riding, and serious about performance.